can you tell us a little bit, folks are want, they're saying, do you put chaga in your coffee? They want to know how you use mushrooms in your everyday. And don't worry, we're, we're going to move away from the personal questions soon and get to some bigger ideas. <laughs> okay, I'm a smoothie uh, drinker. I, I have, um, I have a, a, a smoothie with blueberries, uh, almond milk, um, yogurt, um, and I use li lion's mane, and I use a seven species mushroom mix, and then I alternate turkey tail or chaga pulsing. So I have my main, my base one. And lion's mane by far is the most well substantiated mushroom that not only causes neurogenesis, but in terms of clinical studies have shown uh, an increase um, in, um, well, let me say, slowing down the, the inevitable decline of uh, neurodegeneration with age. And so we know with the clinical studies that have been published so far, these are randomized placebo studies, albeit they're small, uh, they've shown very good evidence of uh, being uh, helping, hopefully, we'll see this as it elaborates out, but preventing Alzheimer's, dementia, and depression. Um, with, uh, with depression, and, and, and mood and increasing cognitive function that's been very well established. There's one study on, uh, on pre-Alzheimer's patients uh, that looks very good over 59 weeks, of uh, 49 weeks to be accurate. And I, I popular website that's branded just for scientists and doctors. It's called mushroomreferences.com, mushroomreferences.com. I curate it. This morning I read about uh, 40 or 50 articles on Google Scholar Alerts. So what I do is I'm a, I'm a victim of Google Scholar Alerts. I have too many keywords. And so anything that's published in scientific literature that that's, well, pops up in my feed. And then I'm very, very fast at reading abstracts and materials and methods and where the studies are conducted, the conclusions. And so then I populate then the, the best of those articles I put up at mushroomreferences.com. Mm -hmm. So did you go to mushroomreferences.com, you type in lion's mane, You'll see three or four clinical studies, um, postmenopausal depression uh, with women uh, using lion's mane, uh, the uh, very, very good indicators in uh, preventing Alzheimer's, uh, I'm elaborating, let me put it that way, um, and increasing in cognitive function. Um, interestingly, the, the benefits from all those studies only lasted as long as people took the lion's mane. So wow. I, I believe in lion's mane, and then microsing with lion's mane uh, increases intelligence. It certainly has increased the number of flying dreams I have <laughs> because I've been flying a lot in my dreams. <laughs> That's funny you should mention that because I've been taking a lion's mane tincture and I definitely flew in my dreams a couple nights ago. Um, not just saying that. Um, <laughs> but um, so for quote unquote healthy normals, and I don't really like this phrase, but this is what they talk about in, in, in science, right? As folks who don't have a diagnosed um, condition, mental health condition, um, what, what would you recommend sort of that, that everyone incorporates into their daily life? We, we've, we've got the message on Lion's name. Um, would love to hear if you, know, you have thoughts on tinctures versus capsules. Um, and dosage and things like that. Are there any other mushrooms that you think like everyone should just be taking every day? Well, let me phrase it this way. Nature's a numbers game. You're, you're on the other side of the equation, you have health or disease. Um, so there's many coefficient uh, multipliers, cofactors, that you string them together, the end consequences, you're healthy or not. But we're, we're complex microbiomes and complex assortments of microorganisms that are unified in a community. And some of these helpful uh, microorganisms, part of a microbiome, are, are in decline or disabled or suffering from inflammatory consequences. And homeostasis is con constantly trying to keep us in check, so to speak, because our bodies are being demanded upon you know, to perform, to do our duties, to get food, et cetera. Um, protect our families, our community. So um, it's nice to say that health, healthy, normal, but it's disease, and it, well, let me put it this way, age-related illness is an inevitability of life. 
So what is your slope towards neurodegeneration? What is your slope uh, in terms, as you age? As you age, your immune system is not as active. Um, free radicals compound over time. Uh, exposure to toxins uh, then can bioaccumulate. At what threshold does it cross over to elaborate itself into a noticeable um, decline in your in in your health? So it's it's, it's very I very much resist this sort of black and white you know it's this way or that way uh, you know uh, type of terminology because everything is continuum. Being all that being said, um, so I believe in multiple mushrooms because we know um, that there are complex receptors in the immune system, and not one mushroom will have all the compounds to activate those receptors. So the tolerability of these mushrooms is actually absolutely phenomenal. And so when you flood those receptors, more may not be necessarily better for those receptors, but nutritionally wise. In terms of other compounds, it, it could be very good for you. Um, so the complexity of the mushrooms that you're taking and changing them up, I think it's important. Uh, the baseline ones that I like taking for is lion's mane, chaga, uh, turkey tail. Um, and then there's one called misima, phalanus uh, lintius. Very few people know or use this, well, lots of people know about it, very few people use it. It's from the island of the woman, it's a great name, off of Taiwan, a disputed island, by the way. Um, but Misima has some mycoflavonoids in it that are extraordinarily powerful. Um, so those are some of the baseline ones. Of course, shiitake and maitake is for edible mushrooms, which I greatly enjoy. Right now we have chanterelles, we have hypomyces lactiflorum, head, uh, it was a lobster mushrooms. We have lots of mushrooms coming out of the woods right now. So I'm having a, a great time having mushroom feasts, you know, on a regular basis here um, where I am.